Hey everybody, today we've got four of the strangest planets in the universe just for you. Let's go. Number four. Let's start with Korot 7b. This strange name is the name of an exoplanet in the constellation Monoceros. The planet has a diameter of 22,000 kilometers, making it one of the smallest known exoplanets. What's special about this planet is that its surface temperature is an incredible 1,000 degrees Celsius. That's pretty hot. The incredible heat ensures that rocks on the planet vaporize, rise into the atmosphere, and then rain down again onto the planet as pebbles. Number 3. Continuing on with HD 189733b. Again, what a great name. This planet is the first exoplanet detected to have the gas methane. It orbits the yellow dwarf HD 189733, which is about 63 light years away from our solar system. The planet also has a surface temperature of 1000 degrees Celsius, hence its blue color doesn't come from the oceans as our Earth, but rather from glass particles that fly through the atmosphere at up to 7000 miles per hour winds. Number 2. We continue on with Kepler 16b. Do you think that there are only planets with two suns in the Star Wars movies? Not correct. 200 light years from Earth is the planet Kepler 16b, which actually has two suns that are about 35 million kilometers apart and circle each other. For one revolution, they need 41 Earth days. Since the two suns are much smaller than our own, the frosty temperature prevails on Kepler 16b at negative 75 to negative 100 degrees Celsius. And finally, number one. Now we come to a whole range of planets. We are talking about the so-called planemos, or objects of planetary mass. Planemos are planets that have been thrown out by collision or other incidents in a solar system and subsequently are on their own in space. Planemos are very difficult to find because they are completely dark due to a lack of sun as a light source in most cases. Only in 2013 was the first such planet discovered. The question now arises, can there be life? It would be theoretically possible by using very advanced methods of underground electricity generation. Okay folks, well I hope you found these strange planets fascinating. Maybe one day we'll visit them. If you like this video, why not check out one right here? Till next time, bye!